Hey everyone, Nate here with Misbehaven. Today we're going to talk about post hole diggers and more specifically this American made craftsman from Lowe's. Let's get started. When it comes to picking out the right post hole digger for your job, there's a few considerations. First, the handles. You can get them in fiberglass, sometimes metal, and also wood, usually oak or ash. If you're gonna be using it a lot, you're gonna to wanna to go with something like fiberglass. Very durable, fairly light material. If it's something you're not gonna use that often, go with oak or the wood handles. They're cheap, they are a little heavier, they won't hold up as well under the weather, but you're not using it much. It's gonna be stored in your garage out of the way. I chose to go with fiberglass. Here's another consideration. If you're gonna be using it a lot, you want the weight distributed to the cutting end, not over the whole tool. On an oak one, it tends to be fairly even. On a fiberglass, the handles are light compared to the cutting end. So you've just got your weight down at the bottom. It's a lot easier to use. Another consideration is how heavy is the tool? So where I'm at, I have clay soil. When it's wet, it's sticky and dense, but it will cut. In the summer, it bakes like concrete. So I wanted a tool that's a little heavier. It's a pain to use, but it actually makes your life easier when it comes to the cutting. You've just got to develop the muscle mass to be able to lift that thing the whole time. Um, uh, if you're up in the Northwest where I grew up as a kid, it's a lot of very light soil, in which case we actually had the ones with the oak handles and they cut just fine. Another consideration is the construction of the tool itself. A lot of them are what I would call monolithic stamped steel. That is where the entire structure is just one piece of sheet steel that's been stamped at a factory. This one took a little different approach and it's what I remember as a kid with the more sturdy units. You've got an upper hinge piece which is just a piece of stamped steel and then you've got the blade that's riveted on. When I was a kid, the blades were actually a thicker steel than the hinge, and that's why they were riveted on. It was stronger than a weld, and at the same time, you had a much broader or a denser cutting blade. These ones, to me, feel like they're the exact same gauge. So I'm not really sure why they took that approach as opposed to just stamping it out of a single piece of steel. But it seems to be durable. They've reinforced the th bolts for the handles with a curved washer on the backside so it doesn't crush the fiberglass. And best of all, this unit is made in America. Here's a little pro tip. When you buy a tool from the hardware store, they come with blunt edges. This applies to your post hole diggers, your hose, and often your shovels. The edge is blunt, probably for safety, and it also makes it easy to manufacture. It's just a stamped piece of steel that they fold, paint, and send on to you. So what I do is I take a file and I put an edge on the, at least on the post hole diggers, I put them on the inside. On a shovel, I would still put them on the top edge of the shovel. You don't need to make them razor sharp. They are gonna dull when they're in the dirt. You just wanna give it enough of an edge it actually cuts a little better or parts the soil. You don't wanna do it on the outside. I found that actually deflects because it's kind of a rounded edge. It'll actually deflect the end in and the shovel or the postal digger will want to close as you're pounding it in. Also, when it comes to shaving the sides of your hole in order to widen it or correct it, it doesn't work as well. So always grind or put a bevel on the inside of the postal digger. And here we are, as you can see, I put an edge on the inside. It is not really sharp by any means. And then I deburred it by just running the file over the backside. I cheated. I went ahead and used an angle grinder to put this edge on and then just touched it up with a round file. All right, folks. Remember, before you use a post hole digger, know what's in the ground beneath. Also, wear a good pair of gloves since they love putting blisters on your hands. If you liked this video, found it informative, please give it a thumbs up. That really helps our channel. If you want to see more videos like it, please subscribe. Also make sure the bell notification is activated. We try to upload videos along the lines of DIY farming and homesteading on about a two week schedule. Though in the summer, it can get a little delayed just because we're so busy. I appreciate y'all watching and you have a great day.